Hey what is up guys it's Vinny Designs here with a brand new tutorial. We are back with another tutorial in Adobe XD so, so today we're going to be learning how to use components in Adobe XD to save a lot of time and frustration when you're designing UI user interface designs. Components were already in Adobe XD but they were called symbols before and they recently changed it to components but it's still the same thing and I'll show you how to use components in your designs. First of all open up at Adobe XD and uh, if you have a file ready to go uh, open it up and uh, so I have this mobile application design that I did for one of my projects in the past and uh, I have this button icon reused in multiple screens this red icon or this red button all throughout my app design and let's say I want to edit the color of this red button and it's going to be a lot of pain to edit individual buttons for every single screen imagine if you have like 50 screens and you have to go and individually edit the color of the same button 50 times that's just too much it's a lot of work and it's frustrating and uh, components come in handy because of that components basically allow you to save one element or one object of your design and then reuse it throughout your design and you'll be able to edit the master design or master icon or design that you saved as your component and it will be reflected throughout your entire document where you use that component when i select this button you can see that there's a green border or outline around it that means that this is a component if i go to this toolbar you can see that there's an assets button if you click on it it'll open up your components and assets uh on the left panel and uh if you scroll down you can see that there are a lot of components i used for this project so let's find the solid button in here and uh, it's this right here button solid so let's say let's say this button was not a component so let me make a duplicate of this and uh, right click ungroup component so now this is not a component anymore now i'll show you how to turn this button into a component so when you when you want to create a component select all the elements and you can group it if you want to organize it and you can group it by hitting ctrl or command g on your keyboard and uh, now we have this button ready to go all you got to do to turn this button into a component is go to your components panel and hit this plus icon now you can see that there's one instance of this component the instance means that there's one of this button in the document being used at the moment you can see that there are five instances of this button used in the document and that's the original design i had and uh, let's go back to the newly created component and you can rename this so let's say solid btn or button uh, red for example now when we go and uh, drag this component anywhere in the document let's say we want another button down here and over here as well so now you don't have to edit these individual icons or buttons individually if you wanted to reflect it across your entire project so what you can do is go to your components panel and then right click on that right click edit master component and the master component is the original component you created when you created the component in the first place so uh, that's where you go to edit the component now uh, let's say you want to change the color of the button we can do that by going into the group uh, by double clicking and entering the group or to make it easier you can also go to the layers panel and select the rectangle that way now let's go to the fill on the right and let's move the hue and saturation down and let's change it to a, uh, a I don't know let's say a blue button and you can see how by changing one of this master button it's reflecting the change on the other two artboards that we created as well and you can do a lot more with this as well you you don't have to use only buttons for components you can you can basically save any graphic element on your artboard and save it as a component so hopefully you get the idea of why components are important in ui ux design especially if you have a lot of screens and uh, uh, pages that you need to edit it can get frustrating when you have a lot of detail and you need to edit individual elements and uh, components really saves a lot of time so hopefully you guys learned something new in this video and uh, make sure to hit that subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment to tell me what you guys thought of this video and maybe even share it with your friends and family and i'll see you guys later peace out